Hey, it's Shane from GotRom.com. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to banish groin pain forever. Stay tuned. So in 2011, when I was coming out of my hip impingement problems, I would lay on my back and I would let this knee fall out about that far and I would start getting intense, sharp, painful hip sensations. And I spent over $25,000 on chiropractors and massage therapists and physical therapists, and none of them ever showed me how to release the tight groin and adductor muscles that were causing this to be painful in the first place. Also, when I would do things like butterfly stretch or frog stretch or the side splits, I would get intense pain in this hip. And it wasn't until I invented this tool which I guess the police invented years before me. And when I started using it on my groin and adductors, this problem went away. All of the pinchiness and pain in this hip went away. So I wanna show you how to use the hip stick on your groin and adductors so you can fix your hip pain for good. So here's what you're gonna do. You're going to take the hip stick and you're going to lay on your side. And there's two ways you can use this thing. One is keep your hand underneath the stick and get it positioned on the high adductor attachment point here and get it way, way up there in the groin, as tight and snug as you can get it. One of the biggest mistakes I pe see people make when they try to use this is they don't have their hand under there and they go into this position and they're like, ah, it's okay, but it doesn't quite get it. The magic key in this position is keeping at least my pinky, part of my hand underneath this stick and then coming over top and then letting the leg come down. With my hand underneath here, I can really change the angle and steer it around and get just the right angle on that adductor attachment. I rest my head on, my ground, on the ground, and then I just breathe and relax. And I subtly change the position until I get just what I'm looking for. You're looking for basically the bullseye of what feels like the junkiest, gnarliest, most dense tissue in this area. And when you find it, you can either just Pin it down and just breathe and relax like this. And it sinks in a little bit. Or if I'm on the bullseye, the really dense, intense stuff, I can breathe and relax. And then shake the stick a little bit, kind of little, little vibrations. It's kind of like scrubbing a dirty dish. So it's like, let it sink in. Scrub, scrub, scrub. Let it sink in. Scrub, scrub, scrub. So that's one way of doing it, but there's another way. If you flip this tool around and hold and put your calf on top of this short end here, and now I'm gonna be working on this other adductor groin area, way up near the attachment. I either can flip it around this way, which gets one angle, or I can flip it around this way, which gets a slightly different angle. And again, I'm holding it with my hand, my calf goes on top of my hand, and this hand, is here to steer it around. From here, the method I think is most effective is kind of making a pelvic thrusting, kind of like a humping motion. Looks silly, I'm aware of that, but it's incredibly effective. In massage therapy, they call this cross fiber friction. So I'm pinning the adductor down, and then with the kind of uh, pelvic humping motion with the anterior posterior pelvic tilts, moving my hips forward and backward, it's rubbing across the attachment of that adductor, which is where all the stress and tension is, and where all the densities and knots and trigger points and scar tissue is. So if you'll spend a couple minutes cleaning up that scar tissue and then retesting how your leg feels when you let it fall out to the side, or you do some kind of groin stretch or adductor stretch or frog or butterfly or middle splits or squats or anything that requires groin adductor flexibility, you'll find that this nifty little tool is your saving grace. One little pro tip while you're doing this exercise is to either hook your foot with your other foot, which puts your femur into external rotation and exposes a different part of your adductors, or a simpler way is just stack a bunch of pillows and put your foot on top of that, lay your head on the ground, and now work on that same high adductor area, same pelvic motions, or using your hand to kind of shake or scrub or vibrate once you find the bullseye, find the dense tissue. 
So you can scrub with your hand or move your pelvis or both. And the addition of this stack of pillows, putting your femur externally rotated slightly makes a big difference. So don't forget to give this variation a shot. So in 2011, when I was on the verge of surgery for hip impingement and I had an extremely tight groin and adductor region, this little tool was my saving grace. So check it out, try out those exercises I just showed you and enjoy.